Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, there has been a lot of chit chatter lately about Yellowstone super volcano and whether or not we should be worried about an eruption. Well, I've got tons of information that I wanna to cover today and in light of the intense magma pressure that I covered a few days ago and also in light of 200 earthquakes that have just struck the area, I wanted to cover a few things on Yellowstone and get down to the nitty gritty and really address the question, is it going to erupt should we all panic well you might be surprised check out this first report from daily mail and it just details the most recent activities but its headline is the yellowstone super volcano close to erupting scientists detect more than 200 earthquakes in the last 10 days after warning that magma below the surface is showing signs of strain now this report goes on to detail that the latest swarm began February 8th, about eight miles northeast of West Yellowstone, Montana. As of February 18th, the scientists say they have detected more than 200 quakes. Still, experts say that the activity is relatively weak and alert remains low, or their alert level remains low. Now, further in this paragraph at Daily Mail, which is really why I wanted to show it to you, they asked this question, could an eruption at the Yellowstone supervolcano be prevented? Now, in that little diagram, the answer that they give is that NASA believes it has a way to possibly prevent it by drilling down into the supervolcano and pumping in water at high pressure in order to cool it. Now, they also detail that this could take very, very long time to do and the other red flag is that well no worries because if they do do it there is a possibility that it could backfire and trigger an eruption altogether <laughs> well then let's probably not go that route in case we trigger an eruption by accident but another report that I want to show you and this one is from zero hedge this is a one that I brought up a couple of days ago, but on February 14th, it was put out and it says new data shows Yellowstone super volcano strained magma chamber under immense pressure. Now I wanted to bring that one back up in light of the 200 quakes that hit the area, but here's the things that we really need to ask. Is this any cause for concern? And I'm going to lean and tell you more. No, it's not a cause for concern. Not so much. Yeah, and I'm gonna show you and explain to that in just a minute. However, I, I do believe it could also be linked to the solar minimum, which I brought up on my channel every uh, 11 years or so, they are on this 11 year cycle. There is an increased amount of weather issues, increased tsunamis, increased hurricanes, increased uh, earthquakes, all brought by uh, this solar minimum that takes place on our sun. So these are just increases in that, I, I believe. Now, it could be wrong and something could be a little more to worry about, but as it sits, that's what I have. Now, also on the USGS website itself, usgs.gov, volcanoes, usgs.gov, it says this about uh, what's going on at Yellowstone. It says, over the past several days, an earthquake swarm has been ongoing at Yellowstone. Before you read any more, keep in mind that swarms like this account for more than 50% of the seismic activity at Yellowstone. And no volcanic activity has occurred from any past such events. As of night of February 18th, over 200 earthquakes have been located in the area 13 or eight miles, if you will, northeast of West Yellowstone, Montana. Many more earthquakes have occurred, but are too small to be located. Does the location for such a swarm sound familiar? This is a huge point here. It should. This is approximately the same place as last summer's Maple Creek Swarm, which included 2,400 earthquakes during June through September 2017. In fact, the current swarm may be just a continuation of that swarm back in 2017, given the ongoing sporadic seismic activity over the past several months. Now, Here's one last thing that I want to show you and then I'll give my breakdown. Uh, but on the screen, you see a map of seismic activity from 1973. The red clicks uh, are, are basically quakes. Your blue ones are your earthquake swarms. Now compare that to what's going on in 2017. Here you have just the little red dots and that doesn't even scratch the surface of some of the activity we saw as late as 1973. Why do I bring that up? Well, if there was something happening, it may have happened in 1973, as you saw the map there, not going to be 2017 when we have just sporadic little red dots, if you will. And last year, uh, September, 
time frame is when uh, is what they were also referring to when we had 2400 uh, little earthquakes and tremors at that time as well so obviously the 200 is way less significant than prior times that being said Yellowstone normally has about 1,000 to 3,000 earthquakes per year so as you can see, it's not a whole lot to worry about, but it is something to take note of. So I would suggest then it's not so much of a worry issue. Don't worry and don't panic. However, be prepared for anything. As I always say, you never know. Scientists can predict nothing with 100% accuracy. So we just do the best they can. They do the best they can to get you the best information that they can when they have it. And me as a journalist, well, I'm gonna share all the information from as many angles as I can and then let you figure out the ultimate end game for that. But as it sits, my personal take, don't panic. Uh, we are under a solar minimum. They usually, they can have up to 3,000 a year. Yes, last year I believe was a little over that even. Uh, that's why I say it's definitely something to watch. Anyhow, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and share it far and wide. Look, there is censorship hardcore going on on channels like mine and all uh, multiple other venues, but check your subscription. YouTube has been messing with those. A lot of people are not getting the notifications. Click the bell. Sometimes it works. Uh, sometimes, unfortunately, it hasn't, but make sure you're subscribed uh, because that's going to be one of the only ways that you can follow these channels in the future as they continue to put us at the bottom of the barrel. Also, so please check out my partner at TreyGeniusAcademy.com. Uh, He's got an amazing special 50% off that you can go. All the information is on link below, but he teaches you how to work the stock market, how, how to work cryptocurrency, and how to do everything in order to make uh, money via the stock market, via cryptocurrency, and all of that as well. And he's one of my most trusted sources. So make sure you go to TradeGeniusAcademy.com and check that out. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.